a lot of the big narrative around disclosure is the, is the, is the fear or foreboding of having to disclose, of having to reveal to employers or social groups or whatever that you have something different about you that they might see you different, you know, make, you, make them see you differently. For me, um, that's like the opposite problem where, you know, it's relatively clear that, um, that I, you know, exist within a particular physical circumstance. Um, and I, you know, there's no, no choice but to disclose, you know, um, and say, yes, you know, I have a, a physical disability, uh, a problem to, uh, issues with uh, mobility, things like that. Um, the, the assumption that disclosing happens once and um, once that sort of particular sort of situation is clear, then people sort of start to accept it or not and, and you know, and we move on with our lives or whatever. But I think there is, the, the leap isn't made a lot of the time when you disclose something and not really sort of talk about what the implications of that disclosure means to, you know, friends, um, employers or whatever, right? So I find that I'm constantly having to disclose to people um, what the implications of my particular uh, mobility issues mean, you know? Um, in loads of areas of my life, it is a responsibility, it's a movement to sort of educate people in a, to a certain extent, but there is, at a certain point, a battle that needs to be t given over to, to, you know, like, to able-bodied people. Just be like, look, guys, at a certain point, it's not our responsibility to teach you how to behave around us, or how to accommodate for us. And for, well, it's not even the word, we don't need to be accommodated for, we just want to, you know, we want a community, we want to be included, we want to be, we want to be seamlessly embedded within institutions without having to have these conversations. We need, we need to disentangle disabled people's identity away from um, sort of internalised ableism that we all feel. I think, you know, I think if people can, like, feel, can have a sense of themselves that is not um, connected to the sort of nar narrative of need, it'd be so much easier for people to make a community and for that community to expand and turn into something productive.